I'm back. This is the Fortune 500, Fortune 500 handler part two. Okay. His name was Hito. And yeah, bitch, would you think I fucking forgot about you, motherfucker? Fuck you, you fucking stalker. Yeah, motherfucker. I know everything. Trust and believe. Okay. All right. Anyways, so, <clears throat> so, so I get drugged right before this company retreat by my husband, my fake husband who I was trafficked by. Okay. He, they, he, Amelia had drugged me at a company event once as well. These people really enjoyed drugging me at like large events or company events to really, really embarrass me and to build the narrative that I was some sort of addict or that I had a drinking problem or a drug problem, right? So they, they did this frequently when they knew it was important for me to be present and to be sober and to be, you know, it was like work events, right? It was humiliating because every time it happened, I would be like, oh my God, like I thought something was physically wrong with me. It was, it, it was a lot. So anyway, oh, it makes me shake. Okay. Anyway, Hito. So after that happens, I was really embarrassed. I was d devastated. I was so upset. And um, the next day, after we all went home, um, it was the last day of the event, you know, um, after we all went home, Hito messaged me on, on Facebook and he was like, hey, are you okay? Da, da, da. And I'm like, no, you know, like I told him, like, I don't know how this happened. I literally had two beers and I was like completely fucking three sheets. Okay. I don't have any memory except for sitting on my coworker's lap. My coworker, Alyssa, she was, she was awesome. Um, but she was like a volleyball player she's a volleyball coach you know she was really athletic and tall and muscular and she was trying to hold me down and I was like superhuman strength literally like breaking free from her grasp and she you know she's very strong so she was you know she, she laughed about that later but she's like damn girl you're fucking strong I'm like I know I know it's crazy I don't know how that happened but yeah I'm really strong so anyway um so uh, anyway, Hito messages me and he's like, you know, I hope you're okay. I'm your friend. I'm here for you. So then I start breaking down and telling him about my marriage. I did not tell him I was trafficked, but I told him, you know, the whole story. I 